Do you have chronic kin disease? You're at risk for bone mineral disorders. Basically, brittle, thin uh, bones that are easier to break are at higher risk of fracture because the kidney regulates calcium, phosphorus level, as well as hormones. So what do you do? You want to do these things uh, early as you can, and you also become higher at risk uh, as you go further into the kidney disease stages and the older you are. So make sure you have a blood test. Want to make sure your calcium's tested. That's in the basic panel. You want to make sure your parathyroid hormone, PTH, is tested. You want to make sure your vitamin D is tested. And you're probably going to need a vitamin D3 supplement, or you might need the prescription. It's a more active form of vitamin D called calcitriol. And that helps lower the PTH level. That is possibly could be high, especially if you're at stage 3 kidney disease or further. Uh, and so that takes care of your vitamin D. Calcium, you might need some supplemental calcium. A lot of people don't, but it's got to be determined by your doctor. So make sure you have that blood test. Also, your phosphorus level, really important to get checked. Make sure that's not high. If it's high, lower it. You can use phosphorus binders or have natural binders. You can take a look at other videos to learn about that. You can also take K2 okay, to help uh, absorb some of the calcium, but that's further down the list. You wanna regulate everything else first that I spoke about and then go on from there. Exercise, okay, super important. Whatever you can do, make sure you get your doctor's clearance. Do your best kidney health.